Hello viewers, I am Will Keith, and I have a new thing. I picked this up a few days ago, ordered it from Amazon, and it showed up on Monday. I don't know what day I'm going to be uploading this video, but this showed up on a Monday. And what I have here is something I've been wanting to pick up since I was a small child, but just uh, never really got around to. I love the idea of it, and it's already... Uh, I'm not going to use the phrase paid off, but it's already been a hell of a lot of fun. Fucking metal detector. Now, this might seem like one of those frivolous, why the fuck would you buy that kind of situations. But like I said, I've wanted one of these for years and years now. And I love the idea of finding just, you know, stuff. Stuff that was left there by other people a long time ago. And kind of just trying to work out how it ended up there. And I've already tested this thing out a couple of times on a beach, and it's uh, done a pretty good job. This is kind of a cheap, shitty one, but it seems highly functional and has done its job very well in the times that I have tested it. And I'm going to show you some of my findings right now. Got a uh, whole bag of stuff that I found. Well, by whole bag, I mean a small Ziploc, but, um, that's, uh, look what we got. Biggest thing I found is this random wire that's not all that impressive at all. Nothing I have here is really all that impressive at all. Got this, uh, smaller wire. This, um, insanely rusted nail that this looks like really, really old. I mean, it's just a nail, but that is kind of cool to me just like how old it looks this um piece of green stone or tile here it set off the metal detector a couple of times but um it this one was kind of finicky sometimes it did sometimes it didn't i don't really know why but i'm considering that a finding anyway um wouldn't be a detectorist if i didn't have a pull tab one of those and um now what I consider kind of the best find, because I have no fucking clue what it is, it appears to just be a sort of black rock, but it sets off the detector big time. It gives it like lots of high-pitched good beeps. And I don't know if this thing could possibly be like meteorite or if it's got some kind of nice metal like in there, but it sets off the thing and I like it and it's uh, kind of a mystery. So thing is like I found... A lot of other rocks that look just like this that do not set off the detector. So I don't think it's meteorite or else they would all do it. And obviously there wouldn't be that many meteorites floating around in New Jersey. So I've basically written off the uh, meteorite option. So there's something special about this specific one that the detector likes. So that's going back in the case. Uh, get in here. Right. And in here, I have a zipper that won't open. Here we go. A uh, little shovel tool that came with the detector. It's uh, covered in sand, so it's going to be a little bit belligerent. Now, see this duct tape here? This isn't because I already broke it. But I've um, accident, accidentally, I've actually duct taped two pretty strong magnets to the base of this. So if I have a mess of like ground up earth, I can just kind of jab this in there and hopefully it will pick up whatever I find. Um, it's not going to pick up coins, but it's going to get like iron or stuff like that. Nails, magnet should get. And since I'm in the woods here, I'm dealing with much tougher earth than I would be at a beach. Well, sand. There's uh, some sand here, some earth here, some gravel. Mostly I'm going to try digging in sand if I actually find anything. That's another thing. I'm actually not expecting to find anything in these woods. I was going to film my first detector video on the beach because um, I actually found stuff there. I don't think I'm going to have much luck in the woods. But, you know, this is New Jersey. Hundred something years ago, there's Native Americans running around here. Uh, this is the Pine Barrens, so maybe I'll find the Jersey Devil who is made out of metal according to my imagination. <laughs> Man, the whole Jersey Devil shit is so fucking dumb. There's people down here that really believe it. Right. So I'm gonna zip this up. 
and that's going across my back nice and empty. Uh, even though it's like 95 degrees out here, which is why I'm in the woods instead of the beach now, because I have shade here, and speaking of shade, I don't really know why I'm wearing these. Anyway, I have my coat, my hoodie, and if I gotta kneel down to dig, I'm gonna just fold that up under my leg so I'm not kneeling on gravel because that fucking sucks. I also have um, this sifter thing. This is actually meant for a grill, but um, I could just load sand or dirt up on that and sift it out through the holes. This uh, definitely came in handy on the beach. So, we're gonna move on. I uh, have the uh, detector right here. I'm going to take this thing and look that uh sticks to the thing with the magnets i'm gonna take this slide it in my uh hoodie belt and i want to tighten this a bit and i don't really know what i'm gonna do with this Will i'll be able to slide this in here as well maybe behind my back oh yeah that's going in there good good all right i need a hand free so i can film Gonna move on, and uh, hopefully I'll actually find at least one thing out here. I'm bending the camera so I can hold it like a shitty selfie stick. Uh, that's gonna be crazy bouncy. I need to, I need to collapse this cutting for a sec. All right, this isn't perfect, but um, it'll have to do. So I'm gonna turn on the detector first. I'm going to. See, I have the uh, speaker covered with duct tape, which is what you're supposed to do if you're detecting on a beach because sand gets in there. Um, I'm actually not going to take the tape off because it is still sandy in here. So I'm just going to turn it on and hopefully you guys can hear the beeps. I know I'll be able to. You hear it come on there? And now, let's see if I can. All right, the volume is all the way up. I'm going to turn the sensitivity up a little bit. And enter. I'm not going to turn on any discrimination because if I can find anything out here, I'll be happy. So I'm um, going to start detecting. Move in the coil down at a better angle. Oh, hello. I didn't even move a foot, and I already have a. Uh, I already have a hit. Listen. You hear that? All right. So um. I guess I'm gonna fucking dig. You hear this? That screeching coming from the detector, that's me pinpointing the location. But it sounds the strongest right here, so I'm just gonna mark that a little bit. Set the detector down and hope for the best. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up the camera looking at the spot that I'm going to dig. And, um, whoops. Looking at the spot that I'm going to dig. And hopefully I'll find something decent in there. Alright, so the ground here seems reasonably sandy, so I'm not going to bother taking the hoodie off to dig. I'm just going to kneel here. Ow. And, uh, see what I can get I have my uh, shovel bent like this so if I need to dig in harder ground I got it all right wait oh shit I already got it look at that fucking huge nail looks uh, reasonably old it's not as rusted as it could be but that's still pretty fucking rusted uh, basic finding but, you know, I'll take it. Any finding is a good finding, the way I see it, at least this early in my detecting career. All right, so, I already found something. I'm uh, pretty happy. Thing is, that looked like a, uh, I, I can't tell how old it is. I, I can't just make shit up. That could be from like a year ago, or it could be from 150 years ago. Like, there's a lot of history in this area from around the uh, Revolutionary War. No big battles that I'm aware of right around me, so I don't think I'm going to be digging up pistols and uh, musket balls or nothing, but um, stuff from that time is a definite, though unlikely possibility. All right, detector's back on. Gonna keep going. 
I can't really tell you why I wanted to do this for as long as I have. Uh, the coil's a little bit off center. Um, it's just always been one of those things that I love the idea of, just finding pieces of history. And even if that piece of history is some random nail, I'm fucking happy with it. You know, another thing that I might find here is, um, I've mentioned this in my previous forest videos, but this trail is used by this um, adventure fitness place across the highway over there. And they're always running ATVs down this path. So I could be finding like bits of metal off of ATVs or shit that they might have dropped. Lots of people walking through here that, are, that work at the quarry over that way. They could be dropping shit. Here I would say the... Uh, Ab the, whoops, I just detected my, uh, my tripod here. Uh, the best thing that I could possibly find here, um, well, the thing I'm most hopeful for, and also, by association, the absolute least likely thing I'm going to find here, is um, Native American stuff. Like maybe an uh, iron dagger or Native American silver, silver jewelry. But... Uh, You hear that? Those higher pitched ones are good beeps. That's uh, detecting something that's supposed to be like a coin or something silver or something like that. But you know, kind of could be anything with a detector this cheap. It's strong signal. It's going. All right. That looks about the area. I'm going to clear a little spot there so I know where to dig. Again, set down the detector and hope for the best. Gonna set down the tripod looking at the spot I'm gonna be digging on again. Alright, I am kneeling on my hoodie now and that's a lot better. So um, I'm gonna move the detector a little bit more out of the way here. And this kind of clearer spot is where I marked and I'm just going to give a couple of scrapes through here to see if I can find like a nail or something that might be setting it off, even though it wasn't a nail beep. I'm uh, not seeing anything right on top. And I'm going to switch the uh, shovel to dig mode here. I love how I can do that. And uh, let's see if I can get anything. I want to make sure I don't move the shovel out of the uh, dig zone unless I'm sifting. And I also don't want to sift sand back into the dig zone. Just going to be chopping it up. I'm not seeing anything potentially decent in this. It's just schmutz. I'm going to take a uh, few more scoops before I put the detector back in there. Make sure it's still here, whatever's going off. Might be a lot of cuts when I'm sifting because it's just kind of like the boring bit, you know. Not looking like there's anything in here either. This is rather damp ground here. I do hope I find what's setting it off because so far I have not found anything that was setting off a good beep. I found a lot of bad beep stuff, which was like all nails on those wires, but good beep, it could be something like a coin. So I'm gonna keep, uh, keep digging the same spot here. This, uh, this detector can allegedly hit things close to a foot down, but I don't really wanna dig that deep. I don't know if you could see back here. I'm just kind of shifting through what I have here with the shovel. Seeing if I spot anything. I'm not spotting anything in here yet. I'm gonna take uh, one more shovel worth and see what I got. There's something jamming it up under here. There we go. Just had to break a break a root. I'm right, gonna give this a little sift. Ah, come on. 
something in here. It was baking good. Oh, 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 hello. Ha. Uh, yes. It's uh, nothing fancy, but uh, look. My first ever coin. That's a penny. I'm trying to see if I can find a year on it. It's uh, not that messed up. Ah, fuck. 2009. Yeah. Nothing fancy, but it is my first coin, so definitely fucking happy. I'm right, gonna fill in this hole a bit here so nobody gets fucked over by it while they're walking. That's um, one of the prime rules of being a detectorist. You can't just leave gaping holes everywhere. You need to, you need to leave places basically how you found them. Luckily, this is um, this is good ground for that kind of thing because it's just sand. If I was digging in grass, replacing it neatly would be a much bigger hassle. One of the fucking legs just fell off my tripod. That's uh, <laughs> that's not good. I got to see if I can fix it. Hang on. All right, I uh, fixed it, no problem. I just had to screw back on. So I got a fucking penny. Not that exciting, but like I said, first coin ever. So, money. I have a little thing of snooze here that has the uh, thing on top to stow them. So I'm keeping whatever little findings I have in there. Alright. Um, fuck, it's hot out here. Luckily I have shade, so it's uh, nowhere near as bad as it could be. I'm gonna get my hat back on right, though. Hook the uh, string behind my ears and tighten it pretty hard so it stays on when I'm moving about. So, got my shovel, got my sifter, and um, I'm going to move on. I'm enthusiastic out here. I wasn't expecting to find anything out here, let alone a coin. If I found a penny, I could find quarters, which maybe after a year of this might add up to something. Shit, my sunglasses fell. You know, it's not bright enough to need these, but I'm just going to wear them, so like, I, uh... Don't lose them. I love these glasses. Oh my god, now my shovel fell. I'm gonna kill myself. Now, I know when I bend over to pick up the detector, something else is gonna fall off. And unfortunately, I am not a Jedi, so I can't pick up the detector with the first. So, I'm going to just kind of bend over sideways and hope for the best. Yes, all right. I got it without losing anything else. Shit. All right. So I'm just going to kind of hold the camera like this so I don't have to collapse the tripod again. And I'm going to turn on the detector and try to find one more thing. Wait. Oh, I am recording. All right. I have very limited time left on my phone to record. You like that uh, up the nose shot right there while I was looking under the sunglasses? I can't see my phone at all with the sunglasses on. So I'm going to try to find one more thing and I'm going to have to end this video because I forgot to delete shit from my phone first and i got to make sure I don't have anything good that I should put on my computer. And I just dropped... I just dropped my fucking sifter. Oh, Jesus Christ. I need a better, better way to carry all this shit. I'm going to need to start bringing out my backpack for these. Alright, I didn't lose the shovel. I'm, uh... Tying the hoodie tighter. All right. Detector. I got it. All right. Moving on. Sorry about the uh, camera angles there. So, like I said, I'm um. I'm detecting all metal now. I'm not using any discrimination because I want to find anything I can out here. I have a iron hit, but um, I don't think I'm going to dig it because it's right under a big ass root and that's just going to give me trouble. So I think I'm going to pass, pass this one up, find something more open ground. Just uh, scanning around here. Let's see if I can move the camera so you can kind of see how I'm going here. I don't want to do like vertical video, but I don't really know how else to. God, that's that sucks to look at even from my point of view. 
my point of view by which the Jedi are not evil. Um, oh, hello. Alright, that's a high-pitched good beep. You hear that? Yeah. Shit. Fucking hell. I need a new tripod. I am so mad at this thing. The th this thing was like 20 bucks and it's falling apart. Um, so, wait. Shit. Where was it? Alright, that's what I'm gonna dig. Clear in the area so I can see it. And setting the detector down. Alright. This is gonna be my last dig. Hopefully I find something. Uh, you can see this little clear patch right there. I cleared that with the coil, so that's where I'm gonna be digging. I'm gonna put the sifter right next to it as I've been doing. And the detector keeps like rolling back into my my uh, dig spot. So, like I did on the last one, I'm going to on, um, fuck, this thing is like stuck on, go down. I'm going to change the shovel into kind of like pickaxe mode here and give the ground a few hits to loosen it up before I start digging. This thing is full of sand. It's really not easy to unscrew. I tried oiling it, but that didn't help. All right, there we go. Just, uh, I just hope I don't hit whatever I'm trying to dig deeper. Right. It's uh, pretty loose. All right, back into shovel mode, and I'm gonna start digging. Just uh, trying to get comfortable here. So that super high pitched happy beep could be. Oh. Yes! Fucking quarter! Yes! Alright, let's see if I can get a date on this thing. Uh, let me pull the camera up here a little bit. I can't see any detail on the quarter. It's um really schmutzed over. Just, uh, oh, this looks like it could be old. On uh, Washington... It's one of those. 19... 87 89 I think I'm seeing wait fuck 2007 hey guys hi I am heading out of the woods and sorry about that cut there my phone ran out of storage so I cleared out some bullshit so I could finish this video um found a penny found a quarter and I found a pretty old rusty ass nail so you know, not bad for maybe like 15 minutes in these woods. Like I said, I wasn't expecting to find anything out here, let alone actual money. So, I am delighted. My time on the beach, I thought there'd be a lot more money because people are running around on the sand dropping stuff. There's nobody really out here, so that, um, that was not my expectation, but I'm very, very happy about it. So, I'm leaving the woods now because I got a properly clear my phone before I film out here again because I can't be running out of storage like that. Uh, what was I saying when I was cut off though? Yeah, the coin was from 2007. I was looking at the wrong number when I saw 19 something. So, modern quarter just kind of messed up. I am perfectly happy with it though. So I'm going to be cutting the video now and um, thanks for watching everybody and there's going to be more of these and I promise that I'm going to be doing more cutting videos too to kind of even out those in the vlogs because I know most of my most of my viewers are here for the cutting so don't worry I'm never going to forget about uh about the OGs the OG viewers all right so cutting the video now thanks for watching everybody and I will see you next time